This week, I'm showing you guys my custom rose gold and diamond SD initial pendant from King Johnny's Custom Jewelry. I reviewed one in yellow gold already, and this piece is so nice that I bought it twice. Review after this. Let's go. If you've been following along on the channel, you already know I have a yellow gold SD piece that I bought a few years ago. I've been wearing that piece the most out of all my pieces, so I decided to get the same one in rose gold too. As you know, I've been stepping up my rose gold collection, so I contacted King Johnny to get the process going. King Johnny pieces come in a nice big box. It looks like the piece was moving around inside the box in transit, but it got here safe anyway. He included a little free rose gold rope chain too, which is a nice touch. I appreciate him doing that. I think it's a classy move to always send a pendant with a chain to wear it with, even if the customer didn't order one. This one cost me a few hundred more than the last one. As rapper Fat Joe always says, yesterday's price is not today's price. The customer service and shipping time was the same as usual. FedEx put a delivery tag on the door while I was at work and I picked it up from the FedEx location. No complaints there. The piece looks good right out of the box. This is 14 karat gold with about 4 carats of natural VS2 GH color diamonds. I just told them to make the pendant the same quality as the yellow gold version. It's shining nice, looks like the yellow gold version that I have. For those who haven't seen the yellow gold SD review, I drew my own initial similar to the San Diego Padres logo with the S and D intertwined. The jeweler then tweaked my drawing with his own spin on the design and came up with this. As you know, jewelers are like tattoo artists, and if you give them creative license, they'll always put their own artistic spin on the design. I wonder what it would look like with the S and D the exact same size, but I think this is a good logo to represent me. I get a lot of compliments on it too. What I like about the piece is that it's not too big or too small. It's the perfect size for everyday wear. It's not too heavy, it doesn't get in the way, and it's noticeable and catches the eye without being too over the top. Sometimes I like over the top, but that's not my everyday look. And it looks good with a variety of chain sizes too. It features a cage back design and it makes it lighter and comfortable to wear. Also, it makes it easy to clean where the water can hit the front and back of the stones. Light can catch it from both sides too, so if I ever take some good photos of this piece, they should turn out really nice. I never put the price I paid for custom pieces in reviews because it's just poor taste. I'm a repeat customer and the price I got might not be the same one that you'll get. Someone might watch this now or years from now and gold prices can change over time. If you want a quote for a custom diamond piece, just contact King Johnny on his Instagram via direct message and he'll quote you a price. I'll test the diamonds real quick to show you guys it passes the diamond test. I have a few different brands of these testers now. I even have a few as free gifts that I got from other jewelers. I might do a video on diamond testers soon and give away a few to you guys who watch the video. Stay tuned for that one. Now we'll go on to some specs. The piece measures an inch and a quarter long without including the bail and about an inch and three quarters wide. The length of the bail has an 11 millimeter clearance and the width of the bail has a nine millimeter clearance. The piece is about four millimeters to four and a half millimeters thick. The piece weighs a total of 26 grams. In the yellow gold SD review, the weight of that piece got lost in the edits, so I might as well weigh the yellow gold one as well. And that one's about 2 grams heavier. So I paid more money for a lighter piece this time around. Not the ideal situation in that regard. I know there's some sanding and drilling that goes into making these pieces, so they wouldn't be exactly the same, but the rose gold version is a little light in my opinion. I have to be honest with you guys about my opinion on that. Now I'll show you a few different looks with it on some chains. First, here it is with a 3mm 18 inch tri-colored rope. This look is with a 2.5mm 22 inch rose gold rope that came with the piece as a free gift. 
Thanks to King Johnny for throwing that chain in. I have to do a future video about all the gold chains that I got for free with custom orders. This look is with a 4mm rose gold rope chain that I'll review in another video soon. I'll mostly be wearing it like this. Now here are a few looks with the yellow, gold, and rose gold pieces together and a shot of them with the yellow and rose flat curbs that I reviewed in my most recent videos. If you haven't seen those reviews, you can check them out. I'll leave links in the description below when you're done watching this. Let me know in the comments which one of these looks is your favorite for this piece. I just want to summarize this transaction with King Johnny. It only took him about two weeks to make this rose gold piece and ship it out to me, so he did everything in-house. I was really surprised by that because I gave him a 50% deposit and paid the remainder only about two weeks later. This is the shortest turnaround of any piece I got from him so far. That's what I liked the most about the transaction this time around. I like that he includes a chain with the piece and it's something I think all jewelers should do. If I had to say what could have been better, it would be the weight of the piece. I think anything within a gram or so would be acceptable. An appraisal would be a nice touch too. Customer service this time around was top notch though. I'd definitely buy from him again. I'd give this one four out of five stars. Not perfect, but it's hard to get perfect on anything. I still consider myself a satisfied customer this time around. We have some sun out here today. I'll be glad when winter's over. I'll have to really think about whether to get the white gold version of this or if I should move on to another design altogether. I don't want to have too many of the same piece. I have a rose gold Ankh as a twin to my yellow gold one, and maybe I'll get a rose gold Jesus piece too, but I'm not sure about that yet. I'm making my way through my wants list for the year and checking off things from the list one by one. Thanks for supporting my reviews of the older pieces in my collection too. I appreciate all the views from you guys. Thanks for hanging in there between these new purchases. King Johnny nailed it again. This is my fourth piece from him. When I get to 500 subscribers, I'm dropping a review of another King Johnny piece for you guys. I think you're really going to like that one, so stay tuned for that. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell and tap the like button to show your support and be notified of future videos. As usual, I appreciate my day one subscribers and my new subscribers, and I'm gone until the next one. Peace.